Hey guys, how's it going? It's Adama Sandwin and welcome back to Fallout. Today I'm showing you my Novak build. I decided to build Novak at the Wicked Shipping Fleet Lockup Facility. It's right here across from Abernathy Farm, right across the uh, river, well, the little stream there from Red Rocket gas station. Now for those that have been here in the vanilla know there is some fantastic lore that's found on terminals in here. Now this of course is not going to be a mod review but I'm actually using the Wicked Workshop mod. There's two mods that are available under that name. One called Immersive, the one just I guess standard basic. Now this one here actually comes with a series of toggles that you can use to one uh, get rid of the corpses, the bodies. The other one here gets rid of all the uh, crates and uh, shipping containers or the uh, truck trailers and containers so I think that's the valve here there we go gets rid of all the uh, shipping crates here nice now we'll go ahead and take a look on the outside here guys uh, for those that have actually been here in the vanilla this is the only place that you're gonna find a little callback to Fallout 3 which of course is the Gary block so go ahead and get rid of this cursed ghoul here because I guess that's how they load in in here Nice, get rid of that so we'll take a look in the back so check out the Gary blocks guys for those that have actually seen it it's pretty cool I love that little uh, call back to the original game well at least that I grew up with we know there's <laughs> at least four other ones or three other ones before this nice so yeah I love that so right here in the back is where you're gonna find the uh, trailer key if you want to get in there without the toggle if you're just playing this in the vanilla of course we have Grognak the Barbarian and that's gonna be for the melee uh, players but right here is the workbench the mod author added guys that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you how it ended, uh, what I ended up doing. Scrapped everything out so you can see it in the vanilla. Here we go, guys. Nothing available. Right here is all the little pieces that I was able to salvage out. Now, you'll see these throughout my entire build. Uh, I used all these little uh, metal frames here. There are like about three foot of cinder block attached to those, which is really nice. And all these little uh, light gray cinder blocks and dark gray uh, areas, I was actually able to put that in several places. So you guys know I love to salvage as much as I can. And the nice thing is if you are using, ST, even with STS and STC, you're not going to be able to scrap out the uh, original. I think you'll like what I did with that uh, set of toggles there. Now the ladder back here in the corner, I was not able to do anything with this ladder, uh, so for whatever reason I couldn't scrap that. It might be a mod conflict, not quite sure. And then of course we have this cooking stove and that rock. I could not move them. Had to work it into my build. I'll show you how it uh, actually turned out. But anyway guys, that's it for the vanilla tour. Please hold that thought and you'll show you how it turned out. I've been working this for quite some time. <laughs> been wanting to make it for over a year. Hold that thought. Now, for those that have had the opportunity to play Fallout New Vegas, know that Novak holds a very special position in the main storyline when searching for the man that shot you in the head, a.k.a. Benny, a.k.a. the man in the checkered coat. So, in the main story, of course, you're going to stop in Novak, the, the first chance that you get. But Novak pre-war was actually called the Dinobite Motel or the Dinobite Inn. Novak actually comes from the no vacancy sign that was found in front of the motel. So I took a little bit of creative liberties with this and uh, added a few more uh, things in here just for flavor, even tilted out the letters just to show age. And I changed the name of the Dinobite gift shop to the Obsidian gift shop. Um, and to answer the other question, how am I handling Dinky the Dinosaur? With these assets, I could not do it. So we have a death clock with the frickin' laser beam on his head. So <laughs> I hope that answers that question on how I'm handling that. So the lore of this build is the owners of the Wicked Shipping Fleet lockup were bought out by the owners of the Dino by Motel franchise. And we actually were able to recreate some of this. Fallout New Vegas forever, guys. You know how it goes. So obviously I took a lot of create. Activity, uh, liberties with this build but I wanted to come as close as I could and maybe some of the things may actually be the same here in the Commonwealth but I'm very happy with how this turned out a lot of this I tried to do by memory and of course some of the other things I had to actually add in because I just ran out of uh, <laughs> stuff that I could do with the original uh, build so reusing a lot of the uh, assets that I had from the vanilla build I uh, was able to actually add these cinder blocks around most of the walls here so I thought this turned out really nice. I, I this is I love this planter. It just turned out really great. That's a beautiful planter there. Very happy with how that turned out. But most of this is pretty much spot on as much as I could get it. 
to the assets that I had available in my toolkit. So you'll notice if you guys load up uh, Fallout New Vegas, a lot of similarities to this. Uh, this is what I was able to actually do with the main awning. Uh, in the front end. I'm happy these are actually just several walls that I turned up, tilted, and uh, ran them all around. Love this. Added a few of these uh, dead leaves in here. Places, again, where you guys know I'd like to try to put them where they make sense. Nice. So go inside the main lobby here. And of course, for those in the main story, know that there's also several stories that go on inside. Hello there. Go ahead and close that up real quick. Now when playing Fallout New Vegas, of course you guys are going to look around for the Mojave Express uh, shipping boxes, mailboxes. This actually comes from the cloud storage mod. I just glitched it into the standard mailbox. I thought that was a nice little callback to the original game. So I'm going to be quiet here. I'm going to cut in he here and there, guys, where places that I had to add extra things. So we'll just take a look around just so you guys get that little bit of immersion here. Nice. I really love how that turned out. Now, also to answer your question, guys, as to what's the reason behind the toy aliens? Well, of course, in Fallout New Vegas, when you come here, you have the T-Rex toys. Since I did not have access to those on PlayStation 4, I decided to use the uh, toy aliens. And, of course, this is the Commonwealth, guys, so maybe they might actually sell something a little bit different here since we don't have the Dinky the Dinosaur uh, gift shop. Nice. And it's all about the aliens anyway in the Commonwealth. <laughs> so that's the reason. Uh, I thought it was a nice little uh, callback. So we'll be quiet here again in most of this, guys. And uh, for things that I added that were completely different, I'll uh, jump in here and there. But enjoy the tour, guys. And I'll do my best to uh, point out some of the extras. Now, one of the optional inhabitants of Novak, of course, is Chris. And for those that have actually played Fallout New Vegas, Chris comes from the Repcon launch facility after you help out Jason Bright and the rest of the ghouls. So once he ends up in Novak, he really doesn't have anything to do. He just wanders around uh, Novak and usually stays in Manny Vargas' room. I guess they're buddies now, roommates. And uh, again, I needed to cover up this cooking station, so just wanted to make it look like a pot sitting on top of the counter there. So, nice. I also covered up the stove there with that dryer, and we have a little bit of storage here as well. So again, needed to fill up space and give Chris something to do, so I thought this bar was quite nice. Also tilted up the, uh, the settlement uh, ambush kit uh, TV there. I thought that was kind of nice, so people can just look and uh, have something to watch while they're uh, hanging out at the bar. <laughs> 
little bit of a spittoon there. <laughs> uh, had a bunch of empty space back here, so I added in a lot of these uh, shrubs. Just wanted to make it a bit overgrown, and of course, uh, we have a beautiful uh, look over that cliff there, which from my bedroom, it looks really nice. Now, of course, in the original Fallout New Vegas, we have the burnt out bus, and I would imagine that uh, at least in Fallout New Vegas, that we could have had a little bit of a house in here, so I just added in this little uh, place to rent out. Just if you had a little bit too much to drink, you can come stay here, maybe 10 caps, and get yourself something to stay in. Also needed to cover up the workbench, so the workbench is actually inside those crates. So that's the reason for this. Wanted to cover up some area and, of course, uh, have something else that we could use for a bed for our settlers. Nice. Now back here, this is my call uh, shout out to the original greenhouses. Uh, that you find uh, in the NCR sharecroppers fields. So I thought it was quite nice to have this little greenhouse here. So again, this is, uh, I love how this turned out. Check this out. Nice, isn't that nice? It's nice and scrappy. Just has something very, uh, well, not lore breaking because again, the NCR used them all over. And this is really nice. I love how this turned out. Got some nice uh, crooked doors here just to make it look nice and scrappy. And I love that little, uh, all that plywood, just uh, something to hang the lights on. I really love how that turned out. So I'm going to close that up here real quick. Now back here in the back. Now originally in the uh, singer's room upstairs, you'd find the motorcycle, the Wanderer's motorcycle. So I added that back here as part of my junk wall. Nice. Love how that turned out. Just flipped it over, turned it around. Nice. Yeah, love that. So again, I'll be quiet here again, guys. I just wanted to uh, call out some of the things that I added in myself. Now, in Cliff Briscoe's bungalow, I was very surprised to find that other than just the T-Rex the toys that everybody knows about, uh, he had no furniture at all, just a table and a couch. So I thought that was kind of fun in the dining area there just to add Mr. Uh, President Alien there. And uh, around the corner here, you'll see a few other things they did. thought this would be a great place for our traveling merchants to stop. Uh, I love how this uh, part of the junk wall turned out. Load up the game, guys. You'll see how much effort I put into getting as much detail into that little front there as well. A uh, little callback to the original cooking stations uh, that you'll find throughout the uh, Mojave. Uh, again, the uh, fire pit in the old tire there. And I thought this was a nice bit of storage. Again, needed to fill up space. Also, look at that. Love that. And uh, need a place for Jangles to hang out and give him something to do. So he actually just guards our uh, generator here. And that provides power to the bungalows and the uh, laser turret that's mounted in the Deathclaw's head. Uh, I just love how these steps turned out. You guys have seen pictures of this. I put it on Reddit. I put it on Discord. I put it on Twitter. Uh, just to show how much I wanted to uh, give some love to uh, the original Novak because those steps were actually kind of scary. And they're actually about two times taller in this, at least in
So again, guys, this is the Commonwealth, and if I had unlimited resources and unlimited build space, I would have added a Dinky the Dinosaur Sniper's Nest up here. But within reason, I had to work it in, and I wanted to make this room as interesting as possible. It's not exact, it's not to scale, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out all in all. I, I'm, I'm happy with it. So I hope you guys don't mind if I didn't uh, do it uh, as perfect as I could, but again, I'm pretty happy with it. I am Madama Sanguine. I love you all. I'm out.